Hi guys, I'm just going to show you a really easy way of doing one of these reacting mass calculations. So the example I've got is reacting methane with copper oxide like you did in your practical. And let's imagine we started with 1.6 grams of copper oxide and we react it with methane gas. And the question is, how much methane gas would we actually need? Okay, so the way we'd start this is we'd work out the MRs of each of the compounds that we're actually interested in. So we're interested in the copper oxide and we want to know how much methane we used up. So we're interested in these two here. Now if we work out the MRs of these by adding up the atomic masses of the atoms, we get 80 and 16. However, you can see that actually we need four moles of copper oxide to react with our methane. So that means we need four times 80, which is 320 grams of copper oxide to react with just 16 grams of methane. So we now know what the ratio is of the masses and from here, it's quite easy to finish the calculation. We don't know, want to know how much methane we need for 320 grams. We want to know how much we need for just 1.6 grams. So how do we get there? If we divide this side by 320, you can see we will get down to 1 gram of copper oxide and because we've just divided this side by 320 we divide this side by 320 so I get 16 over 320 on this side so one gram of copper oxide would react with 16 over 320 grams of methane you can see that I'm not actually simplified this fraction yet because I'm not quite finished still haven't got the right amount of copper oxide on this side. I need to multiply by 1.6 and then I'll have the right amount of copper oxide on this side. Now I've multiplied the left by 1.6 so I'm also going to multiply the right by 1.6. That comes out as 0 0.08 grams of methane. Now that doesn't seem like very much but what you've got to bear in mind is that our copper oxide is much much heavier, a molecule of copper oxide is much much heavier than a molecule of methane so it's not really surprising that we only need a very small amount to react with 1.6 grams. So I'll just run through the steps again one more time. The first thing we did was to use the MRs and the numbers in the equation to find out what mass of copper oxide would react with what mass of methane. The second step was to then divide through by 320 so that we could find out what mass of methane would react with one gram of copper oxide. And then we multiplied by 1.6 to find out what mass of methane we need to react with 1.6 grams of copper oxide.